Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 18. And in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about some complex conditions while using an if statement. Okay, so in the last tutorial we looked at nesting if statements and I told you guys that we could test for multiple conditions by putting one if statement inside of another if statement and that way we could check that our conditions or our variable meets two conditions okay but there is a better way to check for multiple conditions and that is by using the AND and OR operators in JavaScript so let's go ahead and make two variables and I'll explain everything as we go along now my first variable I'm going to call first name and I'm going to set that equal to Quinton because that is my first name and last name we can set equal to what because hey that's my surname and don't go ahead and tease me in the comments below because uh, I've already been through all of that so yeah be kind okay so um, now what we can do is set up our if statement so if something if our condition then go ahead and do this okay and uh, let's go ahead and set up our condition now which is going to be a little bit more complex than before and uh, normally what we were used to doing is we were just used to typing in a condition over here so let's say if uh, first name is equal to Quinton okay then we'd go ahead and do something but now we want to check for more than one condition in the same if statement so what we want to do is we actually need to surround this condition over here in another set of parentheses okay so in other words we want to do this okay so if first name or if condition one is equal to Quinton and we want to check for another condition so we'll surround our second condition in uh, parentheses as well so and last name is equal to what then we want to go ahead and do something but we need some way of uh, tying up these two conditions okay so I'm going to use the and operator first and the AND operator in JavaScript is two ampersand signs. So this is the symbol above the number seven key on your keyboard. So go ahead and hold shift and push number seven and you should get that little symbol printed out on your screen. Okay. So if this is basically what this uh, line reads now, it says if first name is equal to Quinton and last name is equal to what then let's go ahead and do something okay and what we can do is just print out uh, something on the screen so I'll write out hello Quinton hello Quinton what actually because your first name has to be Quinton and last name has to be what for this line to run okay So basically what I've just done here is we've set this uh, if statement up only to run if this condition is true and this condition is true. So that's what happens when we use this little and percent sign. Okay, or both of those and percent sign. That's the and operator. That means that both of these two conditions have to be true in order for this line of code to run okay and right now our first name is equal to Quinton Quinton so this variable or this condition is true and our last name is equal to what so this condition is true and that means that when we run this in Firefox we should get this line printed out on the screen so let's go ahead and do that okay so we've got hello Quinton Watt printed out on the screen so that means this worked uh, both of these two 
variables met our two conditions. But what happened if uh, I changed my name to Quinton Smith? Okay, and now we were still testing if first name has to be equal to Quinton and last name has to be equal to what? Okay, that means that because this statement is now going to be false, that line or this line of code is not going to be executed and we're going to be met with a blank page. So let's go ahead and uh, go back to Firefox and click refresh and you can see nothing printed out on the screen, it's blank. And basically why that happened was because this condition was false, okay? So when using the ampersand sign or the AND operator, all of our conditions that follow the AND operator have to be true. And if we wanted to check for more than two conditions, we could carry on putting in uh, some AND operators over here and carry on putting in more conditions in brackets and then we could just test for all of those. But, you know, I've only got two variables so I'm only going to work with two. So that's how to test for multiple conditions if all of them have to be true. But there are times when you are probably going to want to test for multiple conditions but only one of all of those conditions has to be true. Okay, then we can go ahead and use the OR operator in JavaScript. And uh, the OR operator is basically these two uh, pipelines which are above the number or above the enter key on your keyboard. Um, if you hold down shift and you know push the forward slash button then or forward slash key then you'll get these two little symbols printed out on your screen and that is the OR operator in JavaScript okay and basically what this line now reads is it says if first name is equal to Quinton or last name is equal to what then go ahead and run this code okay but let's go ahead and just remove my surname from there so that this makes sense okay my name or my last name at the moment is set to Smith okay so this condition will be evaluated to false but my first name is still equal to Quinton so this condition is going to be evaluated to true Okay, and so because this condition is true, this line of code is still going to run because at least one of our conditions was true. Okay, because we're checking if this one is true or if this one is true. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go back to Firefox, click refresh, and you can see Hello Quinton is printed out on the screen. Okay, okay, and uh, this will work if both of our uh, conditions are true. So let's go ahead and change this to uh, Smith as well. Okay, then now both of our conditions are true. So when you go back to Firefox and click refresh, this still works. But obviously, if they're both false, like uh, let's say we were testing for. Um, well, let's change my name to something else, like uh, Sean, I don't know, Sean Smith. Cool, go ahead and click uh, save, and we need to change this one as well. We'll change that to Pooley, this is my name of my best friend. Uh, then we can go ahead and click refresh, and you can see that we've got nothing printed out on the screen, because this condition is false, and this condition is false, okay? So obviously that was going to happen. So remember, if you guys want to test for multiple conditions and all of them have to be true, then you need to use the AND operator. And if you want to test for multiple conditions and only one of them has to be true, then you need to go ahead and use the OR operator. Okay, so that's actually all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you for watching. Please go ahead and click that subscribe button 
and if you stayed this far then why not give the video a thumbs up and a comment and i will see you guys in the next video so thanks for watching